still have an oil pump situation here. Um, these Phillips head screw type top bolts are not coming undone. So really what I need to do is I need to access this one way check valve that stops the oil tank from draining back into the sump area when the bike is turned off um, because it does that. So I thought oh, I can do this in situ and these are Phillips head type uh, bolts on them that I can't really get a bite on again. So I'm going to try this. Nothing. It's just going to round off the thing. So I consulted my brother on these uh, immovable bolts here with the Phillips head tops. And uh, he confirmed what I already knew, which was you're going to have to do the work. They got to come out. Um, if for nothing else, I'm looking at it. The time to fix this is now. Not, not to leave it to the next time or the next guy or whatever. This is it. You're looking at it. It's your responsibility. So I'm just going to try to heat it and feed it one more time. And beat it I did. That's a, I think that's a, a full one pound hand sledge. And uh, I have the impact driver, you know, preloaded. I'm already twisting as hard as I can to the left. So I am smashing this good. And nothing's happening. It's not turning. I couldn't believe it. I, I've never had that happen before. The impact driver always works. Then I realized that the impact driver, oh, that's an old one. I've had it for a long time, wasn't really making the turn. So I got a new one and uh, I, I really laid into it because you know, it does me no good if it's on there. It's got to come off, and I don't really know of any other way to do it. So I cracked it really, really hard a couple times with a lot of torque on it. And these deliver, like, uh, uh, I think it's 60 pounds of torque per hit or something, a lot. And finally, as you can see there, I got these screws to come loose so I could at least get the oil pump assembly off of the off of the engine out with the last stupid Phillips head screw bolt there it is water pump uh, oil pump assembly in hand Phew. it's not really the last of the stupid Phillips head screw bolts I have the ones that have to come out of this uh, I saw an oil pressure spring thingy. Look at that stupid look on my face. That's everything I got right there. So I brought it to my brother's, let him have a couple cracks at it. If he breaks it, I don't care. If I break it, I'm going to be pissed. It's hard to believe that one. I know. There you Hello. go. Now it's about halfway. Yes. Here's what they eventually look like after our work. And I have these replacements. Some hex head um, stainless replacements. And maybe someday somebody in the future is going to say, man, that guy was looking out for me. So, we can get rid of these. 
the reason that the uh, oil pump more parts uh, has been removed is because it was doing something called wet something uh, which is um, this after you turn the motor off the oil pump gets shut off this uh, one-way check valve here prevents the oil tank from dumping back into the sump because this doesn't have an oil pan it just has a sump area and this is where the uh, oil pump is is that this one-way check valve that's this thing here um, is supposed to close off this valve here so you see how that drops down here and so it'll slide down like that and it'll stop the oil from continuing to flow and fill up that sump area which is not good although i'm not exactly sure why to tell you the truth but it's not supposed to happen um i, I forgot what it is it can make the pump cavitate something I, i'm not exactly sure but it's been doing it for a while uh, you know it's not the end of the world if it does and so that's what I'm fixing here, cleaning this up. It's funny, but I'm doing this right now. I can feel like a little bit of a rough spot in here. So maybe it was just getting hung up enough to not close all the way like that. So there are O-rings to be replaced. Um, this is my first time looking at it closely. So you're looking at it with me. Oh, okay. So there's that. Oh yeah, and it's a little grimy in here. It's there's a little grit in here. It's just hanging it up. So I did hear that uh, mostly probably what it needs is to be cleaned. And here's the actual pump. You can feel it has compression. Well, I have the uh, fresh gasket here. Some O-rings for here. It's just a paper gasket, really. There's just a little bit left on here. I just want to clean that off. What do you know? The season rider, a season rider video with more gasket scraping. I know, isn't that weird? So that's the valve stopper. And this, which I'm going to take apart um this is the bypass valve so if uh the if the oil pressure is too high the pump will stop and it'll just uh it'll pick up oil through the bypass valve i think maybe i'm saying that right so this is where the relief valve spring lives um, and that uh, opens up when the oil pressure exceeds the normal level. So excessive oil pressure and it bypasses oil right to the sump. And that maintains um, the same oil pressure in the engine. Spring loaded. Okay. Okay. I've never seen this before. It looks clean. I've been thinking about how to prime this pump. And uh, I think what I'm going to do is, uh, when this is ready to be assembled, I'm going to uh, 
turn the pump housing over and put it on the pump this way because I know something's going to spill out when I put it on the motor, but the motor's, it's not really upside down, but, you know, we'll, we'll be pushing up on this to put it in. So I thought I would try this. Um, just fill it up here. Look at the air bubbles coming up. And then we give it a couple of turns. More air bubbles. Might as well use this up here to get my O-rings oiled up. Valve things here oiled up. I had an O-ring that fit better than that. The um, drain valve goes like this. This thing, as you can see here, see where it's turned here? There's a little bit taken off. So that the outside di diameter of this is slightly decreased. That's where this goes in. It goes in the slightly decreased side of the outside diameter. So not here, it goes in the tighter side. There we go. Nice and slippery. Goes like that. And then there's this spring. Yep, that spring there. Doesn't. Goes like that. Our new stainless hex head. Head bolts here to replace the ones that tortured us. Okay, nice and tight. I'm not cranking them down yet. And there it is. There's our one-way check valve. Starts out in the closed position, apparently. That makes sense. I wish I looked before. This is all nice and lubed. Okay, and this is the pressure relief valve. that then this spring would go here this cap 
No, no O-ring on this cap. There's no O-rings anywhere in this section. I'm going to place the delicate paper gasket. Just lay this. And we'll place these X head bolts. Hey, it's Chris from the Season Rider. Thank you for checking out this episode on the oil pump refurbishment. Hopefully, it is both entertaining and useful. We won't actually know if cleaning up that one way check valve that stops the oil from dumping out of the tank back into the sump. If that all worked until the motor is run and turned off and we check the oil level. So if you hit subscribe, you can come along for that ride and see if this was successful. Another project that should have taken an hour, but actually took three days. That's the story of my life at the Season Rider. Thanks for watching. Please hit subscribe. Appreciate you all. Have a good day.